hi guys welcome to my channel this is your girl miss naba and welcome to yet another episode and this is what make actually makes this video way way fun than you actually thought this is the beginning of vlogmas and guess who is going to be participating in vlogmas this year <laughs> you guessed it right um so guys welcome to vlogmas day one i have really been trying to just kind of get back into youtube and kind of like give it my all you people have definitely if you've been here from the start then you've definitely like seen my journey from like me struggling to me coming to where i am right now and kind of finally embracing content and i have kind of learned to just let myself go through all those motions when the time is right you actually get off those motions and you actually just become happy doing what you love so guys i will really really love your support i'll be taking part in vlogmas of 2022 so that means i want to attempt to create 31 videos like the original and the real vlogmas is what i will be participating in so i'll really really appreciate it if you guys actually just like took your time and subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up you know so that it can be suggested to more people that will really really help my content extremely 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 so in vlogmas episode one i definitely wanted it to be something that was going to be close to my heart something that i believe in and something that was going to be helpful to whoever is going to watch it so i am going to be telling you the story of how i manifested my dream life in less than a month like i'm not lying in less than a month i was already living in the life that i was dreaming and really praying to god that i be able to at least walk in it very soon and for me soon was literally less less than a month so i do not want to keep you guys going uh waiting or anything so we are going to get started immediately but first just a reminder again in case you have forgotten if you have not subscribed i'm going to be giving you a minute to subscribe a second really yeah as you guys know i finished campus in may of 2022 and definitely i think probably people who have come here from linkedin or maybe people who have been following my youtube for a long time then you know that for me my content has definitely i've always wanted to not go back home i live in western that's where my mom lives and i did not want to go back home so for me what i wanted to do was make sure i had enough options to make me want to stay in nairobi so what i started to do is if you go check my videos from january february march you'd see i'll definitely try to kind of like create a playlist for you in the description box below so that it becomes easier for you to get it but one thing that i definitely did is that i started you know buying small small things so you'd see in my videos i bought things like toilet cleaner like extremely tiny things things to wash the, the bathroom with i bought myself i think the biggest purchase i made at that time was a cooker i started walking around and looking at houses so that i just know like what the prices of houses are what they range and all that so that i know how much i need and around this time i in 2021 of november i had interviewed for a job at a real estate company which i know you people know which i actually if you don't know then just check my previous videos you'll definitely see you'll definitely see the company there so i had interviewed there and i had gone through but i was supposed to start in january they told me i had gone through that was two months after my interview and they told me i was supposed to start in march and they ended up ghosting me so you can imagine how excited i was that things were working in my favor and that in january i was going to at least have a job and i'd start saving so for me the plan was since i was finishing school in may if i started working in march or in february then the money i had in february march april would february march will help me finish my house shopping and then april 
well because i wanted i wanted so badly to move into my own place then the money i'd earned in april because the pay there was fifteen thousand. that's what i've been told during my salary negotiation so i was just i don't want to hide any details from you people so for me i was thinking if i got a bed sitter that was around let's say eight thousand shillings then that will be extremely affordable for me i'd be able to you know afford uh, with my last salary to pay my deposit and my rent and immediately I'd be in my own place and one thing I was very sure is for me I am a very hardworking person if I love something and if I do something that I genuinely love then I'm going to do it to my best so one thing that I was a hundred percent sure was that I was going to kill it at that real estate farm and I knew that I'd be retained but what happened is that they ended up ghosting me you guys like literally they just ghosted me and i was like um okay so in march i have a relative who got a job and she came to stay in nairobi so my mom was like you know while you're doing your project because by the time we were finishing school we had not finished with our management research paper so my mom was like while you're doing your project you can stay at your relatives place and then after that you will definitely come back home if you won't have gotten a job so i was trying i'm telling you guys i was trying my best i was applying i was doing for interviews and i was doing all that but it's like things were not working out for me so the whole of may and the whole of june i was just like in some sort of depression because the relative i was living with was actually someone we have never been in good terms with and for me it was so weird that this person was now trying to be good to me i just felt like that was some sort of sneakish behavior that i was not ready to like indulge myself in so you can imagine that i was just imagine that frustration you literally don't have money you don't have money for credit you don't have money for data you don't have money for shit i'm telling you you don't have money for anything so uh where things changed for me i'd say it was on the 28th of june and i remember this day so clearly because it was the day that i kind of put it in my heart and i declared that this year was going to be a good year for me and that was exactly what happened for me so on the 28th of june i decided to take the power of journaling to a completely completely different and a completely new level and what i decided to do was I wrote down a journal entry as if I had already lived in it. So I wrote down a journal entry for the 31st of December 2022. Mind you, I'm writing this on the 28th of June 2022. But I'm writing it like it has already happened. And I'm being grateful to God for everything, everything that has happened. And what I want to do... <laughs> for you people is i want to read the journal entry for you and then we are going to slowly dissect it and you'll probably now see how important for me it is i think that for me it's like unlocking an extremely new level of manifestation that just sort of never existed before and you like unlock it and you're like wow what the hell like this is actually so so cool so it's one thing to manifest right you'll sit down and say i'm manifesting a boyfriend and all that but it's another thing to like basically for me i believe manifestation and religion are just kind of close because it's like you're stepping in faith and you're acting like this thing has already happened like i was literally writing down this journal entry like someone who has already lived it by the time i was writing it down and one thing you tell you could tell is i could feel like i'm actually like in my heart i could feel the confidence of what i'm writing i'm actually living like i could feel like this was 31st december nabalayo writing it down so we're going to read it i just took a random i didn't even look for a journal or anything guys this was my book for when i was in campus two units applications of market research and market strategy and plans i literally looked for the closest 
the closest book that was near me and i wrote it so you can see it here i think what i'll do is i'll just take a photo and kind of put it somewhere here so that you can see it if you want to see it so on the 28th of june 2022 i wrote yo who can believe that the year has already come to an end wow i am really grateful to god for keeping me this whole year i have literally seen his love grace and abundance just overshower me before we step into 2023 i'd just like to put down my gratitude in writing so what i went ahead to do is i wrote down in top uh i divided it into topics so i'm just going to show you the topics i'm going to read out the topics so topic one I graduated so i wrote oh my god i literally graduated become marketing like damn never really anticipated so <laughs> there's something i need to mention here for me what i had written for myself was a first class honors and i knew for a fact that i was dreaming extremely extremely big but i was like you know what you never know because then again i think i'm going to do this in another video the whole of my first year and second year i got c's and d's i literally started studying in third year and fourth year i went from a d student to an a student so like there are usually two types of grading in school they can grade you know average or they can get your third year and fourth year where you're specializing in your degree to have more weight and other times they can grade that only your third year and your fourth year count for your final grade so if my third year and fourth year would be what only matters i'd be having a first class honors by now so never really anticipated a first class honors because did you know me in my early years but god truly and magnificently did that thing i had the best photo shoot and graduation so grateful for my parents and friends and just the amount of love i have received i can't wait to finally start my masters this coming month so you've already seen what has happened there so i'll be graduating with a second class honors upper division on the 16th of December. As I am recording this, it's I think around two weeks to my graduation. So that is how you know that anyway, what I wrote down is literally about to happen and that God has kept me through it. So thank you. Thank you so, so much, God. And another thing I've written is I can't wait to finally start my master's this coming month because for me, I'd really love to start my master's in january and i know i'll have the best i think for me what's most important is the photo shoot so yeah then second my birthday i turned 23 in the most beautiful manner i wanted to have the best jordan year and god was like i'm going to blow your mind so on my 22nd birthday my 22nd birthday was work i hated my 22nd birthday like i cannot even pretend you guys like i genuinely genuinely hated it so i didn't want my 23 to be like that so when i was turning 23 i literally wrote down that it was going to be a good birthday for me even if i didn't have money at that moment and i remember on the 19th I went out with a couple of friends we partied and it was so nice and then on the next day now on my actual birthday because i did not want to spend my birthday partying with people and caring what people want or if people are on time and all that no i didn't want that so i ended up spending my birthday with my now boyfriend and afterwards so the whole day with him and then afterwards i took myself out on a date and i remember i just finished it and i was like wow this is actually a beautiful birthday and i remember i actually told um i told him on that day and i told him do you know i actually wrote down and i said this is how my birthday is going to be and i'm already enjoying and loving my birthday so yay so the next thing was i wrote about church i've always wanted to plug into mamlaka so mamlaka is the church i go to but was so scared of not being consistent i am proud of how i have prioritized god in my life and that he really answered my prayer of showing and teaching me to 
of showing and leading me to the right person to help cultivate my relationship with God. I have not been going to church, I won't lie. I think it's because church is so far. Imagine from my home to stage, it's like 30 minutes walk. And then from stage to Mamlaka is like another 30 minutes walk. And I know these are excuses that I'm currently giving, but uh, even before I started recording this video, I just, was it last week? I actually got an invite to go to church this coming Sunday. And I was like, yes, cause I actually, I think for me that was like a wake up call of how I have not really prioritized God in my life. And I think that is something that I am going to do. And I also, was it like a month ago, I came across content that will actually help me build my relationship with God. So it's like, wow, but I am always grateful to God. I always acknowledge God. It's just that I will have, I really, really want to plug into a church community. So what I wrote next, I wrote that my relationship with my family and my, my really okay let me just read my relationship with my family was in the pits early this year but yo when i tell you god showed up to show off i mean exactly that in the in the year and years to come may I never forget how much grace and favor covers this family of mine and my relationship with my family right now is beautiful i just love it i love if if you watch this because i know i know my family my family are like my number one fans I don't know critics or whatever. <laughs> Mom, Leanne, JP, I love you so, 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 so much. Extremely a lot. So the sixth one, I think is like the most important. And the seventh one, these are like the most important. Let's talk about love, baby. Let's talk about you and me. So you guys know. I have been single for like the longest time. The last time I was in a relationship was 2017. And for me, I was just like, yo, <laughs> I'm not trying to live like this, especially since I had finished school. And I think it's just inevitable and imperative that once you have finished school, you have to step out and step away from your office because people out here have AIDS. You do not want to get it so for me i was like if i do not want to abstain then the best way i can do this is at least be with someone that cares for me someone that loves me and all that and one thing that was very important for me i think and it's something that i've always craved throughout my single life was there's a certain bond you have when you're sharing every single thing and sharing all your moments with someone that actually loves you and i think for me my heart was craving that so by the time i was writing it i was like god this is my year i'm not going again to another year and saying i've been single for five years no so i wrote oh my omg the past years i have undergone i remember praying to god to just give me someone to love and someone who loves me the same way i do them i'm so in love right now yo <laughs> never thought i'd say such things at 23 but yes i am i love that he cares he loves god a lot he takes me out on dates he calls me he listens to me the small and the big things he does for me <laughs> I'm finally resting on the chest of a man that makes me feel loved and wanted, not used and insecure. And when I tell you, like, um, I know he'll not watch this. And if you are watching this channel and you know who he is, please do not tell him about this part of the video. I have personally banned my boyfriend from watching my YouTube videos because I feel like my YouTube is the ghetto. My YouTube is the ghetto. <laughs> But, guys, 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 listen, the power of what you write down. There's a Bible verse. There's a Bible verse. There's a Bible verse in Habakkuk that says, write down. I know it has other things. It's chapter 2. 
I think verse 3, if I'm not wrong, but it has write down the power of what you put down. You guys, I'm telling you, whatever you put down, when I tell you um, the guy that God has given me, when I tell you he is literally every single thing I have mentioned there, I mean that. So I wrote this on the 28th of June. I met him less than a month later. I met him less than a month later. Uh, we started hanging out and all that. And we started dating in early October. So we've been a couple for two months now. And... Guys, this is like the one thing that literally blows my mind. Because we was like, <laughs> he's not... You're not talking to me like... I knew I was not going to another year single. I knew, but I just didn't know how I was going to meet someone that cares for me. And literally in July, I meet this person, this person, and you literally never, never know that breakdown. So the seventh one, work, career, and all that money related shaben. Never did I think I'd be buying my family festive season gifts because I can afford it. Everything as far as my career is concerned is flourishing. God did it for me and for my family. Those LinkedIn has opened for me are insane. Check out my LinkedIn, guys. My businesses are out here overdoing and overshining. See my content, my page, the people I'm meeting. Let's just cover that. My businesses are out here overdoing and overshining. I have literally, I have, have an idea <clears throat> that I have an idea that is a build up and I have literally just launched it the other day because I can see it becoming something bigger, but you definitely have to start with baby steps. And this is one thing that the fact that I wrote it here, I am telling you and listen to me that this is going to happen. And then I wrote, see my content. I have come back to content and I feel like, wow, like my content is thriving. For a long time, I was stagnant at 665 subscribers. As I'm doing this video, I'm currently at 688 and it may look small, but for someone that has not moved for close to eight months to gain 22 subscribers in a month or a month and a half, for me, that's a big deal. And that's on period. So I'm very grateful. And then my page, what was I talking? I think still LinkedIn. And the people I'm meeting, when I tell you I have met people, the people I'm meeting out here, the contacts I'm saving, the business cards I'm exchanging. Like you guys, you guys, when I tell you God is opening doors for you, he is literally opening doors for you. I went ahead and says, can't believe that I am now a career woman doing all the things I love and I'm passionate about. And something that I think is very important for me to add for you is that on the 1st or on the 2nd of January, and if you check out my LinkedIn, I even did a post. I sat down with a lot of kiburi. Like, you know how Gen Z's are so hard-headed. And I said, I'm not going to look for a job. The job is going to look for me. And it's so funny that of all the jobs that I applied for, I did not get called for one. Or if I did, I did not either attend the interview or I did not go through. And I think that's one. In one. I was called to that Chile State Farm less than... I wrote this on the 28th of June. On the 1st of July, I traveled home. And when I traveled home, I went to Bongoma to see my family because I genuinely needed the rest. And immediately I got home, I got a call from them and they were asking me, are you occupied? Are you engaged right now? I was like, no, I'm not. And they were like, we want you to come in in the next two weeks. And I was like, catch me there, catch me there. And then in August, I received an email. My profile had been shared by an organization that I'm part of, that you people will see. And they were like, we would like to interview you for this position. And I was like, okay, it's actually an internship. But now I have my performance review in January so that I can now be retained and all that. And I went for the interview. 
and two organizations are supposed to give out profiles so the marketing society of kenya gave only my profile the other organization gave out um a lot of profiles and every single person filled the interview msk gave only me only me and i got a job and i work there and i i I freaking work there i need you people to understand how this is like a big deal the job the interview that i went for and i failed because i couldn't go through because i was not good at excel i spent close to five months of those people calling me and telling me we want you to come and work for us we want you to come and work for us and i believe it's because i had really good ideas my personality really shone really shone really shined and my my you know everything i was good at it and that's just who i am to a point that i was declining them and declining them and they're telling me how much are you earning here we promise you we will top it up and i just have to say no 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 because i am currently i'm actually doing what i love i have an opportunity to pursue other things and upskill myself i work remotely and i think for me that's like the biggest win so catch me like that then um i finally exceeded 1000 subscribers it was about damn time so i'm really hoping and i'm really counting on you people please give me two thousand please get me to a thousand subscribers and then i went ahead to write um this year my friends and i flourished all thanks to god and my finishing statement was thank you so much god that you have shown you have shown me how indescribable your love for me is just imagine how you clothe and feed the birds how much more can you do for your child surely god was not done with me thank you god if you were waiting for a sign this is your sign to sit down, put God in the middle, walk and step into what you wanted and write it down. Put it in writing. Put it in writing. Write it anywhere and save it. Save it. Do not lose it because I promise you in a few months you will sit down and you'll be like, I am living in answered prayers. Guys, I can't say anything else that can top up this video. I cannot. So I really hope um, this has inspired you one or the other. Please feel free to tell me your thoughts on the comment section. Tell me, um, you know, anything. Share this video, please. If you like it, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching this video till this far. I love you all and welcome to Vlogmas. Mwah.